Our top story at 5 o'clock, a fiery crash on an almost new bridge on I-44. A semi wrecked and then burned early this morning. It took a while to get the flames out and then eight hours to get the wreck cleared away so that road could reopen. News on 6 reporter Emery Bryan is live with that story. Emery? Well, the road reopened at noon, but things around here was really a mess this morning. Traffic was backed up all the way from Yale, all the way out to Broken Arrow. Now, the driver got out of this crash okay, and it looks like now the bridge wasn't hurt either. The semi was covered in flames when firefighters arrived. According to the highway patrol, the driver said the truck had a front tire blowout. The truck hit the wall and a fuel tank caught on fire. Even though the fire started underneath the cab, the driver escaped unhurt. The trailer load of frozen chicken was charred. The fire and the cleanup created a massive traffic jam because ODOT shut down I-44 in both directions for several hours, then kept the westbound lanes closed until noon. There were other accidents in the backed up traffic and that only made matters worse. ODOT says 45,000 cars a day use westbound I-44, but the accident impacted traffic on both I-44 and the BA. The fire damaged the two-year-old bridge, but the extent wasn't clear until the truck was loaded up and hauled away. Now that the wreckage is cleared away from the accident scene, engineers are using a hammer to test the integrity of the concrete to make sure this bridge is safe. With the fire department spraying off the last of the ash and debris, ODOT inspectors were looking for any damage beyond the obvious. You can tell by the tone of the hammer hitting the concrete, the sound, whether we have hollow spots or whatever, but so far so good. Just got a couple areas, as you can tell, where the uh, duels were sitting, where the tires got extremely hot while they were on fire. Engineers looked under the bridge deck and didn't find any significant problems. The damage that's there, they say, is only cosmetic, and while it needs repairs, it doesn't affect the safety of the bridge. And there's, uh, this is a construction zone here at I-44 in Yale, so when that semi-truck uh, driver's uh, tire blew, there really wasn't much room for air going through that construction zone. Reporting live, Emory Bryan.